Ed Okira formally declared his Uganda Volleyball Federation presidency today, portraying himself as the most accomplished leader in the field to revive the flagging sport. The Uganda Volleyball Federation elections will take place on January 9th, but Okira, who became the first person to signal interest in the top job, believes his nine points manifesto is the medicine that the doctor prescribed. My vision is to make volleyball the number one family sport, entertainment and talent development in the country and to always carry the national flag of the country again to the world. It is not the first time Okira, a former KCC volleyball club player, is having a crack at the presidency. Four years ago, his campaign ended up dead in the water after he pulled out from the race despite being nominated. Okira cited irregularities in the electoral process. The former volleyball player believes he is now better placed to stay on the course. I want to take volleyball to group one. At the moment we are at group zero, almost group zero, we need to move. Backing Okira is his former teammate at KCCA Volleyball Club, Hassan Sekajolo. Not a new face in the administrative trenches, Sekajolo is also seeking to become general secretary, a post he held eight years ago. We need to move from amateur to professionalism. Somebody needs to do the hard work and I'm willing to offer myself to lead the transition for clubs moving from amateur to professionalism. Ugandan club volleyball is in turmoil. A standoff in the sport has resulted in the men's league suffering a stillbirth. The women's league has also lost three of its top teams as a result of the impasse. Sam Poza, NTV Sport.